The Life of Katakuri. Katakuri, also known in the series as the man with the bounty of a billion, is the second son of Big Mom, Charlotte Lillian family. Although we don't have specific details about his birth, we know that he was born on a ship far from Toto Island, became one of Big Mom's three sweet commanders and one of the strongest members on the crew. Katakuri is a tall, trident-wielding fighter who wears black pants, a slim jacket, and ties a scarf around his neck and face to hide his crazy big mouth and walrus-like teeth. I mean, not a judge or anything, but look at that! Welcome to Bahanime, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the life of one of Big Mom's commanders, Charlotte Katakuri. So remember to hit that like button, subscribe and you know, don't forget to share. Early Life In his youth, Katakuri was accosted by a lot of bullies, laughing at his facial structure and even his own family members mocking him, saying he should cover his face. Katakuri just retorts usually in his uh, badass, he's gonna beat the living daylight out of anyone that makes fun of him. Soon after. Bullies come again and make jests and of course, Katakuri puts them in their rightful places. The bullies enraged decide to take out their frustrations on Bully, Katakuri's sister, and beat her within an inch of her life. Mm. Katakuri finds these bullies and shows them what true fear is, showing that you cannot hurt his family and get away with it. His first appearance was in episode 824, where he's seen walking to the door of the throne room of the legendary Big Mom in anticipation of Sanji's wedding to one of Big Mom's many daughters. Katakuri Straw Hat Encounter After ruining the wedding between Sanji and one of the daughters of Big Mom, Luffy and the Straw Hat pirates finally make it back to the ship against all odds. However, they are accosted by the overwhelming pressure of Katakuri, who snuck onto the ship earlier using Bruli's mirror ability. After Luffy is able to drag Katakuri and Bruli back into the mirror world, he breaks the mirror that could lead them back and faces Katakuri squarely. Luffy and Katakuri begin what would be a 12 hour battle. Katakuri first acknowledges the danger Luffy possesses then goes on to declare that Luffy's abilities are below his. Oh. Luffy rejects this declaration and proceeds to attack Katakuri with a flurry of attacks, which of course were dodged and countered quite easily by Katakuri's kind of OP ability. Even on Gear Second, which is Luffy's fastest form, not a single hit was able to land or even graze this guy. Katakuri's Devil Fruit abilities allow him to do pretty much everything Luffy can do, only more efficiently and on a grander scale, like actually multiplying his hands for the Gatling gun technique, moving much faster than Luffy and having better observation hacky and pretty much the ability to see into the future. So yeah, Luffy did not stand a chance. He even made much larger elephant guns, grizzly magnums and an even more giant axe than Luffy's and proceeds to continue mopping the floor with him. The battered Luffy gets back on his feet and continues to pointlessly challenge Katakuri in a battle of strength and speed and just keep losing over and over again. He receives pummeling for massive armament steel hacky fist. Ugh, my boy was getting trounced. As if the uh, ass whooping wasn't enough, Katakuri then reveals his trident and taunts Luffy telling him that no one dies because they want to. The battle heats up as the two go head to head with neither giving up, but all of Luffy's attacks have been unable to hit Katakuri, yet the battle continues thanks to Luffy's unyielding, unrelenting spirit. Okay, Katakuri might seem overpowered, but that's because he is. See, according to One Piece, those that eat the Paramethia Devil Fruit, upon full mastery, can turn the entire area into that Devil Fruit and use it as well. So, Katakuri, of course, has such mastery that he proceeds 
to pile a ton of mochi on Luffy. Believing that he defeated Luffy, Katakuri enters a mochi house that he's created to eat donuts and drink tea, you know, like you do when you've defeated your opponent. Luffy, being Luffy, manages to eat through the mochi and proceeds to punch down the shrine and expose Katakuri, actually laying on his back and eating large donuts with his freaking massive mouth. Katakuri angrily kills all the chefs that saw his face and proceeds to mop every single surface with Luffy. As Katakuri strides towards his next attack, Luffy somehow observes the next move and dodges it, then gives Katakuri a sweet chin music. The first attack that he's managed to land. <laughs> After he successfully dodges another set of Katakuri's attacks, he then slowly realizes Katakuri's abilities and proceeds to enter gear 4. Pumpo man! Dodges all attacks and punches Katakuri. Luffy follows up with a flurry of attacks which do a good bit of damage even though Katakuri kept his guard up. Katakuri of course making sure to never let his back hit the ground. Katakuri regains composure, uses his future sight and traps Luffy's hand, then proceeds to give him his own upgraded punches using his unstoppable donuts technique. <laughs> one, one piece is pretty crazy, yeah. So Luffy eventually loses gear 4 and tries to avoid Katakuri at all costs as he knows he cannot use Haki for the time being and ends up using Bruli's ability to enter a mirror and rest and regain himself and his Haki. After 10 minutes, Luffy returns and the battle continues. Luffy then tries to intentionally use observation Haki but is, you know, be beaten up and hammered into the wall. He tries again and again but constantly gets hammered by Katakuri whose observation Haki is way superior, nearly broken frankly. As Katakuri continues to punish Luffy, Luffy somehow taps into his own observation Haki and cleanly dodges one of Katakuri's attacks and counters. Katakuri counters the counter and continues to dominate the battle. Even though Luffy's observation Haki senses grow keener, Katakuri still slowly escorts his ass to death's door. After many hours of battle, Katakuri and Luffy finally slow down enough for Luffy to get sniped in the leg by Katakuri's sister which weakens him, thereby allowing Katakuri to finally land a clean hit on Luffy with Mole, his trident. Katakuri boils in rage that Luffy would literally slip up and fall for his attack out of what he thought was carelessness because he was just finally thinking highly about this man that could withstand all of this beating. That's when Katakuri finds out that his sister had shot a poison needle at Luffy and proceeds to stab himself with his own trident to even the battle. He did not want a dishonorable victory. What is this man? He even removes his scarf and shows his whole face to the world. Mm, now the two injured combatants finally square off for the last time. They use Conqueror's Haki to knock everyone out and proceed to punch and attack each other with all the Haki they can muster. The battle slowly evens up as Luffy catches up to Katakuri's level after loads of flashbacks about his training with Silver's Rayleigh. He finally masters observation Haki and impressively dodges very quick consecutive attacks from Katakuri. Katakuri still overwhelms with more attacks than Luffy could land until Luffy finally decides to risk it all with one last move, the first show of Gear 4, Snake Man. In their final exchange, Katakuri's boss cut Mochi versus Luffy's King Crowbar smack each other and they both get knocked out. They eventually get up. Katakuri realizes the determination in Luffy to become the Pirate King and just falls on his back as he cannot continue the battle. Ding ding ding. 
I think Luffy just won. And that's not just because of his incredible resilience. You see, Katakuri hits him with a lot of powerful techniques, but Luffy's ability to take punishment is something else as we've seen over and over again. But on the flip side, Katakuri never gets hit in a fight because of his future sight, but Luffy's superhuman attacks, though much fewer, dealt some very effective damage and he just couldn't handle it. This was Katakuri's last big fight, well, for now at least. We'll see what Oda Sensei has in store for this guy someday. But for now, thanks for watching our video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.